the journey of being an entrepreneur or like it's not it's not always that happy go lucky yeah. thing. So talk to me about maybe some of the some of the failures, some of the 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 problems that you have encountered, some of the times that you were down and, and what you've done to kind of get through those situations. Definitely, that's so real. So in order to do anything for anybody else, you gotta take care of yourself. And I've really learned that this year. Like I have been living life the opposite my entire life. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna do things for other people. Like, because I know that, oh yeah, I'm a humanitarian and I know that, you know, my purpose is X, Y, and Z. I'm just gonna do it for everybody else. But that's not sustainable. So the more that you kind of like take care of yourself, always, you know, take care of inside, then the easier that is to kind of go out. And I've realized that any type of like hard day, any type of like, you know, failure, because I don't really believe in failures, to be honest, it's just a lesson. Any type of L that I took was really just to show me how to do it better. And I always kind of like embrace that aspect where it's like, okay, well, shout out to Glorilla. That's why I love tomorrow. Like I have another chance at this, you know, inshallah, the next day. So, you know, understanding that failures are not the end of the world and that I'm not defined by my mistakes. It has made it so much easier to always kind of like retract that energy and be like, okay, this was not, this was not aligned with who we are, but let's do it correctly the next time around. But it always, like I said, it's just that individual battle, you know, like battle where it's like, it all has to be here. And then once you get this together, then it's easier to be like, okay, like I'm going to bring that out into the world and I'm going to, you know, just be who I need to be for others. I have to be proud of myself in order for others to be proud of me. I have to be inspired by myself and other for others to be inspired by me. It's always just that constant circle where it's like, no, start at the center where it's supposed to be at and then go out. And understanding that as an adult is kind of like one of my biggest accomplishments of age. It's like, okay, it's that wisdom of like all this shit is, is starting from your core and take care of your physical, take care of your mental, take care of your emotions so that everything else can follow suit. And I've really been, you know, understanding that now because I attract more than I chase. You know, I, I attract more than I chase. And that just goes to show me, too, where it's like there's no there's no L's. Nothing is a coincidence. There's everything is ha everything is happening for a reason. All of this shit is already written. It's about trusting that your legacy will be what it be, that your dreams are going to be that is what it's going to be. And then trusting yourself to constantly listen to that voice inside where it's like, OK, I know what to do. I'm going to just do it with my all. I'm going to do my best every time. So I never look at failures like anything. I just be like, okay, like I'm just gonna do it better the next time. There's no such thing as a mistake. I'm just like, yeah, I just I learned, you know, how to do it better. Facts, and I love how you talked about it. Really does all start on the inside. And people say like selfishness is bad, but sometimes selfishness is good because you have to protect that part and you have to work yeah. on that part. And I feel like to give people a few tangible things that they can work focus on on the inside a lot of people talk about mindset yes but mindset is only 25 percent of the yeah. equation see your your mindset is your thoughts but that's not everything right and so one thing i love about robin sharma and the five of club he talks about the four interior empires and he says mindset is 25 percent. next is your heart set it's how mm. you feel like you can't you can't create great art you can't do anything else if you if you if you feel bad inside if your heart hurts you know what yes. I mean? that's even a a part of me that i've had to explore over the last few years it's like why is working on your heart doing anything for your business but really that's some of the most productive things that you can yes. do. you know what i mean next is your is your health set like part of the part of the way that you can become a legend is by longevity you have to take care of your physical yes. health. you have to take care of your mental health. you have to make sure that you're alive like health set you have to be healthy yep. you know what i mean working out running you know eating the right things those putting those right things in your body and the last thing is soul mm. set. and soul set is remembering who you truly Oof. are and so each morning he talks about how like that the whole concept of the morning routine and the the 2020 20 formula is about protecting and working on those four interior empires it's about taking care of yourself 
before you take care of everything and everyone else. And that will keep you consistent and confident and feeling good so that you can put that art into the world. Yes. So 